Hello, welcome back to our tutorial URC 2021 lesson practice. So, uh, we will proceed with the level number number 8. Okay, number 8 is different with the uh, other levels. Later on, I will I will explain to you what is the difference between the uh, other levels. Okay, well, let's go. All right. For the level number eight, okay, the um there are few features. Uh, there are few uh new features for you. Okay, for example, uh, number one, as you can see, uh, your your attack robot design is also different. Okay, for the level number eight, your attack uh robot is the uh, attack robo motorbike okay motorbike when when you said about the motorbike you only use one dc motor only instead of two okay that is the huge difference for your attack robo and then the second one as you can see that there is the other obstacle on the road okay the snakes that one that you should to uh, you should move away because uh, the snakes the snakes are blocking your way so you need to use a sound okay you need to use a buzzer block okay to play a sound to move away the snakes and then you will proceed with your uh motion uh mission i mean mission okay so let's go your mission is still the same as the um previous level okay the mission objective is still the same you need to collect all the portion uh, and then enter the portal but at this stage you need to program your robot to steer according to the route okay watch out the snakes you chase away the snakes you have to play a sound okay last uh, just now i said uh, motorbike or tech robot use one dc motor right so you also need a one servo motor to handle the movement of your robot. Okay, the servo motor will be your steering. Okay, that one is really important. One DC motors and one servo motor. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is the buzzer, the new lesson for you, the buzzer. And then if you go to the um <coughs> the buzzer, the buzzer block. Okay. There is a few choice of the note, but please remember that in this level we already set the note key to move away the snakes. Okay, just use the A key. Just use the A key for the play uh, play sound note. Okay, and then this is just the introduction about the buzzes. Whereas the buzzes is convert an electrical signal into the sound. That's why you can deliver um the sound to move away the uh the snakes okay you can find the the sound block okay in, under the sound palette block all right this one is the new features as i said to you just now okay there is uh, a new obstacle in uh, on your on your road which is the snakes so you need to be careful with with the snakes okay move the snakes away using the a key note okay and then you need to sound two times it means that okay before this you use the LED to open the waiting door right so for the level number number eight you need to use the uh, buzzer okay to play a sound two times to move away the snake and then this is the servo motor I said just now the default value is 90 degrees okay but okay let's see here how to identify the servo motor angle for the motorbike uh, Artec Robo, okay, the 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 range of the angle is in between uh, negative forty five degrees to forty five degrees. Means that neg negative values degrees to the positive value degrees. So on you only can use um, that range of the angles to handle your uh, movement. To I mean to steering your movement. Okay, in this lesson, servo motor is used as a handle for the for the motorcycle at the robo. The turning angle depends on the servo motor angle. Okay, the turning angle depends on the servo motor angle. If you want to move 
to the right side. Okay, as you can see this, if you want to move to the right side, you need to use a, uh, okay, this one, okay, the tip is, if you want to move to the right side, okay, you will use the positive degrees. Okay, if you want to move to the left side, you need to use the negative degrees value. Okay, that is the tips for the uh, servo motor handling. All right, you still use the concept of movement as before. Uh, I mean, you need to put an event block, okay, set the power, set the direction, and then put a width block, and then the brake. That one is, we still use every uh, level, okay? Don't forget about it. So, this one is the map of the level number 8, okay? The map is in a U shape. A U shape, okay? So, you can use a repeat block not only for the sound, okay, also for the movement here, because the uh, the the map is the same movement, okay, until you reach at the portal here. As you can see, this one also have a snakes. This one also have a snakes. So you can use a repeat programming in order for you to passing by all the road here and then go to the portal. All right. So let's start. Okay, event block here, and then you need to move forward. Okay, and stop before you 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 before the snakes like this. Okay, break. Okay, this one. M one, M one, and one. Why M one? Because we all we we just use one DC motors. That's why you only use the M one. Okay. Is it two is in uh, one is enough? I think two because this one is quite far. Okay, I want to stop two second here. Okay, and then what you need to do is once you stop, uh, before uh, you know, once you stop here, you need to play a sound. Okay, how to play a sound? Remember, you need to play a sound two times. So use the repeat block two times here, and then play, and then with block. This one is the same as the LED. Okay, the different is the block. This one we use a, a sound block. Okay, maybe you want to put a uh, zero point five or one. One is okay. Okay, and then okay, I uh, I will let you see what happened. Okay, I will let you see what happened. So, here. Right. Moving forward two seconds. And then play a sound two times. And then the snakes will move away from blocking your your root. All right. Next is moving forward. Moving forward. Okay. Moving forward. Okay. Moving forward. Same. Control. Okay. And then stop. How many seconds to move from here to here? Okay, just just take a, a straight uh, line first. Okay, this one. Let's say that you want to stop here. So, maybe 1.5. Okay. 1.5. Alright, moving forward. 1.5 okay 1.5 is not enough so maybe i will put two okay Moving forward two uh, two second. All right. So as you can see that 
the 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 white line here it is going to curve to the right side so you need to start using your servo motor to steering your movement okay how to steering the movement you need to take okay every time uh, it is advisable for you every time you change the uh the every time you want to have a new action or a new movement you are advisable to use the uh, weight block okay you are advisable to use the weight block i think i want to add more 2. Point, um, 2. Point, maybe 2.5 or 2.7 okay okay you are advisable to put the uh, weight block here every time if you want to change the the action or start a new a new movement okay okay next is take this one because you want uh, you you will start to steering your movement okay put the servo motor and then dc motor direction then this one the weight block and then of course the stop okay please remember to put the stop okay just now i say the range of the servo motor is in between negative 45 degrees to 45 degrees positive so so uh if you want to go to the right side you can use a positive value if you want to go to the left side use the negative value of the degrees but please remember that if you want to go if you were if you want to go to the right side use a higher number of the degrees let's say that you want to uh, slightly go to the right so you can increase the, the value of the degrees let's say you want to use um 40 if you want to use 30 okay so that your robot will move more to the right side okay if you want to go to the left side uh, you can put a negative in front of the number okay if you want to move just slightly turning to the left or to the right side just use a lower number okay usually uh for this okay since i want my robot just slightly turning to the right so i will use a smaller number which is a 10 degrees okay the 10 degrees because if you put 30 your robot will slightly moving like this okay slightly moving to to this side and uh hit the divider here okay because i want uh it is easy for you to follow the white color line uh, because um this white color line is in the in the middle of the road so the chances of your uh motorbike to slightly going to everywhere is uh, lower okay so please uh this white white line is your um what the reference for you for your movement okay next is this one okay let's see what happened okay just move away the snack the snakes and then move forward 2.5 second uh 2.7 second and then okay as you can see see i use 10 degrees okay if you want more you can uh you can add more number of degrees i want to use 2.2.6 okay this one i want to add 12 okay let's see I will teach you on how to do the basic uh, programming for this uh, level. Okay. Later on, you can explore. Okay. If you use uh, this number, what happened? If you use this number, what happened? Okay. All right. 2.6 uh, seconds for moving forward. And then take a break for one second. And then turning slightly to the right for 
one second for one second study slightly to thirty to the right. So for me, this one is not enough. Okay, one point five, and then as you can see, as you can see my uh this one is the servo motor. Okay, it is slightly turning to the right side. Okay, so. Let's proceed first. Okay, I will proceed uh, the programming. If let's say that uh, need to change any number, then I will change later. All right. Then this one, you need to move forward. Move forward. Okay. You need to move forward. One second. Okay. The tips is, as you can see, the map is a U U shaped map, right? So every single movement here, you can slowly, slowly, slowly repeat until at one point, let's say this one, maybe some of the point that you need to, to use a manual because it is not easy to, uh, to make sure that your handling is perfectly uh, correct so that you need to uh, write the programming uh, step by step, okay? It's okay. For the first timer, maybe you will take a longer time to write the program. So, uh, I will teach you on how to use the uh, repeat block. Okay, this one is the repeat block. Because starting from this action, I want my movement to repeat until at least at this point, at least this point. Okay. Because we move uh, a little bit uh, uh not not so uh, long programming for each action okay Bef that's why we are really um concerned about the the movement of your robot so we do uh stage by stage okay so let's say that i want to repeat four times okay before that okay don't forget to put the weight block every time you want to uh, have a new movement okay this one I want to repeat the um, the movement here because uh, as you can see that the map on your right side is the same as the uh, left side. So you can use a repeat block too. Alright. So 10 times, uh, sorry, 4 times repeat and then proceed. Okay, proceed. Moving forward but as you can see, it is not a straight line, so you need to use um, this one, servo motor and DC motor. Okay. Both of these need to be worked together. Okay, and then wait. Wait block and then break. Alright. So you will repeat this action. Okay, you will repeat this action for four times. Okay, it means it will slowly move, 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 move four times. And then after that, you need, uh, you will proceed with the next uh, stage of the programming. Okay, so let's see uh, this one. I want to use, um, just now I used 10, right? So 10 also can. If you want to use 12 or 7 also can. All right, 100 CW. Okay, and then this one, I want to move uh, more than one second. So 1.5 second. So let's see what happened. All right, so just play. All right, moving forward. Okay, steering your handle to the right side. Right. Repeat one time. And then. Okay, second time. Third time, okay, and then fourth time. All right, that one is more. 
So I need to reduce this 7. Okay, I need to reduce this 7 and then 1.5. Oh, right. So let's go. All right. Mm -hmm. One. Two. Three. Okay, you can see uh, the difference. Uh, just now I put 10 degrees so I reduced to 7 so it looks like uh, slightly perfectly uh, moving uh, according to the uh, root the, the, the u-shape root see this one I said uh, this is after four times repeat as you can see from the map you already passed by more than half half map okay because you the the program can be repeat because of the map okay because of the map okay as you can see just now four times repeat you already until here okay pass half then the map so this one as you can see it is it is slightly uh finish at uh the right side so you need to adjust adjust the adjust the movement of your robot to the left side so this one is uh, the next program all right as you can see that your robot is uh, slightly turning to the right side so you need to change a little bit okay uh, of your uh, steering of the robot to the left side so remember uh, just now at the beginning uh, I already said to you that if you want to move uh, or facing your your robot okay or handling your robot to the left side you need to use a negative a negative degrees for the servo motor so uh, just put like this okay and this one will work together DC motor and uh, servo motor will work together. Don't forget about the uh, time here and then stop. All right. So this one, you need to put negative. How many negative, uh, how many uh, degrees for you to turn your, your robot slightly turning to the left side? Maybe you can just use a lower number. Because just now you use seven, uh, maybe you can slightly use uh, one one degrees. Okay, the smaller the value, actually, um, the especially if you want to balance your your movement to the right or to the left side, just use a lower number. Get okay? a lower to the zero. So it means that either a negative one, maybe you you want to use two. Uh, see. Uh, just now I use only seven, just lower than ten. Okay, that one is the uh the the suitable value for this map. All right. So this one just use uh oh sorry this one just now. Not this one. Uh, this one just now is. Okay, negative one. Okay, negative one. Okay, negative one. Then uh, your your rob your handling will go to the left side slightly to the left side. One hundred. And how many second here? Uh, maybe uh one second is too much because I want just to move forward just slightly to the left. Maybe until here. So it is uh less than one second. So I will use zero point. 0. Let's say 0. 0.6 seconds. Okay. So 
So then, okay, let's see. Eh? I want to show you uh, the negative effect. Okay. And then proceed. Okay, remember, before this, we use four times repeat movement. So, this one will be the one. Rest for 1.5 seconds. And then, two. Second times of repeating. And then, three times of repeating. Okay. All right, then fourth. Uh, this one is the third, and this one is the fourth time. All right, see, and then I slightly uh, steering my robot to the left side. As you can see, zero point six. Okay, zero point six is two. Oh, okay, because okay, as you can see, I forgot to put break. Okay, that's why. Okay, that's why. Don't forget to put break. All right, again. Okay. If you forgot to put brick, your robot will remain to move. Okay. Okay, chase away or move away the snakes and then continue to proceed. Okay. Collect the first uh, portions. <laughs> And then start to steer your handling. Okay, this one. All right. And then moving forward 1.5. Okay, and then start to read the repeat program. Okay. One and then this one will be the second time of repeat and then third time of repeat and fourth. All right, so this one, uh, see, it is slightly turning to the left side, okay. To make sure I can grab uh, the next portion. All right, next one is uh, actually uh, the left. This one, this part is just to make sure that uh, my movement is on track. Okay. Okay. Next, proceed uh, with the next action. Okay. Remember, I said once you uh, every time you want to start a new program, just have a, a weak block. And then next is, as you can see that, you will repeat a movement here, okay? Because you you will steering your, your handle to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. So I will use a repeat block here. Okay, the repeat block, how many, how many uh, repeat, uh, repeat number? Maybe I can put three first. If it is not enough, so I can uh, increase the number. So this one. Uh, remember why you repeat because you will slightly turning 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 okay following the root the the u shape root here so put another one here and then the direction and then this one the weight block and then don't forget to put a break all right how many degrees just now you 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 use uh seven you use ten Okay, so maybe I can use a 10 back because there's no uh, 7 degrees is, uh, my position is in this area. So that I need to uh, reduce the uh, the number of turning here. So that's why uh, before this I use uh, 7. So I will remain with the 10 degrees for my first degrees of turning. 
Okay, this one is 10 degrees. Okay, 100. I can see W. Okay, how far that I want my robot to move? Like this is maybe uh, one second like this. Okay, as long as I want, uh, later on, my, my robot is facing to this portion. Okay, so maybe I can put 1.5 seconds. Alright, and then try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, collect the portion, the first portion, and then starting the uh, the movement of repeat. Okay, here. Remember, last time we use four times repeat. So four times repeat. Uh, your robot is moving until this area. So that is that is how you shorten your programming using the, the, the repeat block. Okay. So this one moving forward 1.5 second. Okay, with 10 degrees. Okay, one and then repeat for the second time. Okay, and then repeat for the fourth uh, third time. Okay, so your third time will stop here. Alright, your third time will stop here. So next, we'll proceed. Okay, proceed with. Okay, make it sound. Make it sound to. Um, to move away the, the snakes. Okay, sound block. Oh, remember, you need to sound two times, right? Two times and then put a weight block for one second. Okay, sound two times and then you need to go to the portal. But as you can see that the, posi the position of your motorbike is slightly uh, facing to the right side. So you need to do the programming after this. Okay, proceed with the turning to the left side. Okay, turning to the left side. Okay, so this one, this one, and then uh, control, with block, and then stop. Stop. All right. So how many, uh, how many degrees? Just now we use a negative one uh, for turning slightly to the left back. So uh, maybe I will take uh, at that around uh, the value, the value uh, similar like that. Maybe I use five because this time I want my my motorbike to turn more to the left side and then going straight to the uh, bottom. All right, so I will take a negative five first and let's see what happened. And how far here? Uh, you can see that this one is a long distance, so I will have a uh, four second. I estimate four second first. All right, let's see what happened. All right. Okay. Proceed. Alright, 
Okay, start to do the program of the repeat just now. Okay. Okay, repeat for the third time and then repeat for the fourth time for this for this uh for this program okay and then slightly turn to the left side okay to just uh, balance the uh the the movement and then this one repeat three times one two this one and last one the third time okay lady sound and let's see okay negative five degree turning to the left side okay and then go to the bottom four second okay that's nice okay it's okay if you exit uh, and hit the wall uh, at, at this side. Yeah, as long as you are successfully go into the portal. Okay, for this uh, tutorial, uh, okay. For this uh, level, okay, at this moment, okay, it is considered that you are successfully the level number 9. And then you will proceed to the number, level number, uh, uh, complete level number 8. And then proceed to the level number 9, okay. Uh, because this one supposedly to have a pop-up congratulation and then uh, how much score that uh, you score for this level. Okay, like me, 100, 100, 100 score and then you can proceed to the next level. Okay, in this level number 8, the lesson objective is you know on how to uh, use a servo motor as a handling. Okay, make sure that you use only the range of the degrees from the negative 45 degrees to the 45 degrees. And then you only use because the, uh, in this level, you are using the Artec Robo motorbike. So you only use one DC motors and use one servo motor for handling. And then the new features for the level number 8, okay, you, you learn on how to do uh, programming using the buzzer. You need to sound two times using a keynote A to move away the snakes okay that blocking your way so that is what the lesson objective for the level number eight and you can use a repeat block because uh, the map is a U map so it, it is a repeating repeating action so you can use a repeat block all right so that's all for level number eight okay thank you so much see you for the next level bye